What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike LaBelle. Welcome back to the playbook. EA has released an update, a patch. Will it shift us from the current state of gameplay? That is the question. Title update five. If you've not subscribed to the channel, I would highly appreciate it. If you have been struggling with this year's game, you felt like the gameplay in particular is feeling a little mudded, feel free to let your voice be heard in the comment section. We can go back and forth. As it stands on record, my favorite variation of FC24 was that initial release. It wasn't perfect, but it showed progression and differentiation of a title that was attempting something new. However, every single patch up to this point has made the game more defensive, more AI assisted, and I end up just playing through the wings. It's frustrating. I want to have more innovation. I want creativity. I want build up. I want that reactive fluidity. I feel like you want the same. Before we read this, Biggest issues with Ultimate Team as a mode are probably the menus. I don't know about you, but I'm lagging or having to restart the game far too frequently because menus are being frozen or they're auto-saving what they shouldn't be saving or vice versa. It's not being submitted. I'm trying to complete an SBC. Basically, I'm wasting time in the menus, not because I don't know what I want to do. Further addressed instances of a stability issue when entering the store through an evolution screen. Uh, I also saw with this patch, they have fixed the Evo glitch or the bug. I don't know that EA specifically said that, but I saw a bunch of replies saying that it does not work. There was a, there was a video that came out yesterday as this is being recorded with Run the Foot Market. And he's not the first person to make the video, but the majority of account holders, so you and I, were able to evolve multiple evolutions at one time. It was short-lived. In some specific scenarios, player items going through an evolution could have unintentionally lost some playstyles. Well, that's not good. Do they give the playstyle back? Question would be, did EA reissue the playstyle? And that question has been answered. Impacted player items should now have their correct playstyles. Addressed a stability issue that could have occurred when attempting to start a match with some evolution player items in the squad. This happened to me yesterday where I went into a game and my evolution player signaled something on the back end that said that we did not have matching squads. I might have got a disconnection loss because of this. I'm looking at my evolutions. So I have an evolution that has been eliminated from being evolved. You see these three evos, apparently were faceless, and I'm not sure if this evolution would have expired at this point, but I was not able to play with this man in game in online matches because of a match error or squad update error. Therefore, I couldn't evolve him. And then I think he's expired now. So I'm stuck with a player that I actually never could evolve because it was interrupting the gameplay, which then led to me not being able to use him to, of course, evolve. And I ended up with disconnects. So apparently this has been addressed now, but it's too little too late because I'm stuck with a player that I wasted an evolution slot on. That happened to me. What you probably came here for, gameplay. Please, EA God, come on, help us. Made the following changes. Slightly reduced the velocity of ground passes taken at extreme angles. I understand realism with angling, but slowing down passing will not help me beat the AI defend. Please say that there's some update going up against 71 depth in the custom tactics. If you were not aware within custom tactics, if your depth is set to 71 or higher, your team then auto presses, auto offside traps, and it is an absolute headache to go against as it stands because we don't have the same tools on the offensive end to beat the players that are taking up all the space without your opponent doing anything. All assisted and automated. That's why it's been so difficult to score goals. Most matchups have been close. I've not seen a bunch of blowouts unless you are night and day better or you have extreme meta players we're talking mbappe r9 Ginola, players that counteract even if the game's not necessarily going for you but that's few and far between reduced potential accuracy of crosses taken by players with the whip pass and whip pass play style i will say this was relatively overpowered but i did not expect ea to start reducing play styles and play style plus but whip pass you could do what you needed to do but again everything has to go through the wings so this is still an offensive reduction so we're two for two offensive reductions oh no improved goalkeeper reactions to shots aimed at their near post so the goalkeepers have gotten better your passing has gotten worse your crossing has gotten worse in some cases user controlled players could have moved towards a ball's path when not requested to that's going to be hard to gauge i think from a measurable 
but understood. Addressed some instances, this is not specific at all, just on a side note, of ball carriers unintentionally winning the ball back following a stumble animation when tackled. There has been a lot of bounce backs. I'm assuming that this is going to address something along the lines of bounce backs. But again, that's vague. This has a lot of room for subjectivity and interpretation. We could go back and forth and have the same type of discussion. Contextual swerve passes could have been performed by players without the incisive pass for the playstyle plus, Travella, Travella plus playstyles. Are they saying that now swerve passes can be performed by additional players or that they previously were performed by players that didn't have those playstyles? Even though I, I will say Travella and incisive pass have been good to go in terms of playstyles and playstyle pluses. In some cases, a requested cross could have resulted in the ball carrier stepping over the ball set across with the foot closest to the touchline. That is an issue, but again, that's not high up on my priority list. I want defending to be more difficult. I want the middle of the pitch to open up. Goalkeepers were not using the attended amount of strength when deflecting the ball in some instances. So goalkeepers have stopped the near post and now they're doing a better job at clearing the ball. A first time pass could have been unintentionally requested when activating player locks. So that's only going to play into a, a very micro amount of players. If you're using the player lock frequently, you're going to be, I don't want to say an elite level, but a higher end player, unless you're just spamming it and trying to get used to it. Cause I do see different levels to player lock inclusion. The general rule when it comes to player lock, if you aren't skilled with player lock, it more than likely is actually hindering your gameplay where you're overthinking it. And now if you're overthinking or you're trying to learn and master, so you're working through that curve in order to become skilled, high end, upper echelon, that makes sense. But if you're using the player lock sparingly and it's taking you time and you're losing the flow of the game or the rhythm or the tempo, it's offsetting for you. It's likely you'd be better off without having the player lock in your arsenal. This is an argument that's been made around time finishing depending on the year. If you're not good, if you're not skilled this year in particular as well if you're not going to be 90 percent hitting green time finishes i don't know that it's worth you using time finishing because if you do not hit it perfect you will not be scoring goals and this year because of the ai defending and the block you can't take a chance of not being able to convert when you finally get a little piece of space following a goalkeeper red card the team management screen could have become unresponsive well that's not good. I, I have not experienced this. In some situations, set piece run up animations did not always play correctly. I wish I had an example to view the set piece. Now, the bigger concern here is I still don't see anything around tactics, anything around defending or auto tackling or steps or pressure play. It's not being addressed in these notes. Players rejoining the match from outside of the pitch could have sometimes passed through other players, which does not matter. That's fine. That is only a visually cosmetic concern, but not actually a gameplay shifter. I don't think I'm going to cover career mode, clubs, Volta, any of the general usage rate. We're basically ultimate team and gameplay on this channel. If you want to read through this, I can link it down below. Unfortunately, the takeaway, at least based on the notes, and I will say this, every single patch, no matter what it says in the pitch notes or the patch notes, other formulas or sequences or animations, just the gameplay in general was shift beyond what we're reading. If you've already been experimenting, I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments, but my first read through here, these patch shifts do not address our biggest concerns. The speed of the game is too slow. The AI defending and the coverage is also way too overpowered compared to the offensive attributes or characteristics. It's far too much wing play and cutback and slow buildup while you try to find a way to be innovative. You look for any opportunity to introduce some ingenuity and it's not easy this year. And then tactically, it's doing too much. The game is doing too much for you when you switch a button between the depth or the width or having chance creation like this or defensive style like that. There should still be manual elements and that's better for every level of player. Whether you are a beginner, an intermediate or an advanced player, it is good to have developments, shifts, changes, responsibilities of self. I've seen a lot on social media where people are concerned with the gameplay and we're early on. Typically at the beginning of November, even into October, if you want to rerun it, that's not the question at hand is around gameplay. More or less it happens after team of the year where we start looking into how much longevity will the title have? 
Is there enough happening within the menus, the competitive scene, general game modes, friendlies, draft, foot champs, rivals that keeps everyone entertained? We've got the comment section. Those are my takeaways. Unfortunately, I don't see this patch adjusting our current state of gameplay, but I would love to be wrong. Make sure to subscribe. There's more videos on screen and I have a lot more content coming out ASAP, ASAP.